Hello everyone, it's Aang here. I'm, I'm so excited to be giving you my Christmas decor home tour. We didn't get to decorate last year because we were getting ready for our big move from Seattle to Charleston. So I'm going to be a little bit extra this year. Well, it may not be much to some, but it's definitely the most I've ever decorated for the holidays. I had to buy a lot of new items because this apartment has the most space I've ever worked with. I'll also mention where some of the items are from. Now let's get on with the tour. On my front door, I have this wreath from Joann's. If you saw my fall decorate with me, I mentioned that I keep this wreath up year round and just switch it up with some of the elements to go along with the season. For fall, I have these white velvet pumpkins. I took off those for winter and replaced them with these pine cones that I painted with acrylic paint. And also I made this bow for it. I loved how this bow turned out. The burlap and hint of gold is just perfect. Coming inside, we're going to go into the kitchen where I'll show you this lamb's ear wreath from Hobby Lobby. I just added some berries from my pick to give it a pop of red. After the holidays, I'll remove the berries so that I can keep it up year round. Right above the pantry door, I have this beautiful sign from Walmart. It was only $10 and I think it's just perfect for this spot. Moving over to the coffee area, this is from the store at home. I added a little more white acrylic paint to soften it up. That single pine cone looks a little sad by itself there, so I might just add two more buddies for it. I have three of these trees from Joann's. They were just plain green and I painted them with some acrylic paint. You'll notice that I do this to pretty much all the plain greenery. I'm so obsessed with that frosty snowy look and it gives everything so much life. These little lights are from Amazon. It uses a USB plug. I made the bow from some ribbon from Walmart. On the other side, I have just another one of those trees. On top of the stove, the sign, the tree, and the reindeer are all from Hobby Lobby. I also wanted to mention this Dutch oven pot that I just bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really wanted to get it in red to give my kitchen that pop of color but this gray color was the only one left that they had in the six quart size. But I'm not complaining, I paid $25 for it. It was on sale for $35 and I used a $10 off coupon. I'll link in the description if you guys are interested. Right below, I have these towels from Hobby Lobby. They came in a set of two. Right above the fridge, I would like to add some fresh poinsettias as soon as they're available. On the dining table, I put this arrangement together. These are just some picks and greenery that I had forever. On top was two flats, so I added this mini tree topper from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store where everything is $1.50. This table looks pretty sad and gray, so I think I'll eventually find a red runner to go on top. On the island, this sled is from the store at home and I think it's so cute and to die for. This is the third tree. The candle is from TJ Maxx. I really only bought it for looks, but luckily the scent is pretty nice too. The picks are from Walmart and again, I had to add some more acrylic paint to soften them up.
I would like to eventually find some mini wreaths to replace these mittens. I think the mittens are cute, but I need something larger to cover up the backs. Right under the staircase, I cover this table with a tablecloth from TJ Maxx. The houses are from the Target dollar spot. This is actually a placemat from at home, but I also saw it at Hobby Lobby. This tree is from Joann's. I really want to find some tall white lanterns to go in front of this table with some candles in it. I think that it would brighten up this space so much. The staircase just makes it so dark and scary. For the staircase, I made this giant bow. I think that it kinda clashes with the plaid. I would like to swap it out for the same ribbon that I used for the tree topper. These garlands are from Hobby Lobby. They were just plain green and you know I had to paint them too. I also added the lights, pine cones, and ornaments. Each garland was 9 feet long and I used about 4 of these for the entire staircase. The fifth one is actually on top of my kitchen cabinet. On the couch, I had this awesome Sherpa throw from Costco. It was only $15 and came in several colors. I love this so much that I think I'm gonna go back and get one in gray. These are just everyday pillows. I decided not to get any Christmas ones because not only are they kind of pricey, but I just don't have a lot of storage for bulky pillows. On the coffee table, I have a nutcracker from Joann's. The snow globe is from Hobby Lobby and so is a little pedestal in the pics. The larger pedestal is from Home Goods. The candle I've had forever, so I'm not sure where it's from. I'm gonna put this entire thing somewhere else as soon as I get some fresh poinsettias in. We don't have a fireplace, so this media stand has a lot going on. The stockings are from Hobby Lobby and so are the reindeer stocking holders. The flocked garland is from Walmart and was such a good price for $13. I added the lights, ornaments, and pine cones. The two side trees you see are from Joann's and they are battery operated. By the way, all the string lights on this garland and staircase are all from Walmart. I think that they have the best prices in a really nice selection. This joy sign is also from Hobby Lobby. Last but not least, let's talk about the tree. This is a 7.5 foot tall pre-lit flocked pencil tree from Big Lots. I paid $72 for it. But you also might want to check Walmart because they also have a great selection and excellent prices. I never thought that I would buy such a skinny tree, but we were very limited on horizontal space here in this living room. But we've got plenty of vertical space. I have a star for the tree topper, but it's missing the base, so I just made this bow to go on top of it for now until I can figure out how to attach it. As a side note, it's been our tradition to get a fresh tree every year, but it's so early in November and they usually don't put out fresh trees until closer to Thanksgiving. So depending on the selection of the trees here in the south, I'll probably end up moving this tree into the corner of the dining area so that the fresh one can live here. This tree skirt is from Hobby Lobby. 
I had to fold it in so it could fit in that space. That concludes my Christmas decor home tour. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so that you can see how I decorate the fresh tree or make any updates to the decor. I hope that you got some inspiration for your own holiday decor. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Please also help me out by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I wish you guys a happy holiday season and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!